when I sold mariachi, I made it out of my apartment here. I thought, I bet they wouldn't even know I'm not in Hollywood. Between the flights there are now and FedEx was new, I thought FedEx. I, I it's bet a thing. I could just FedEx them the movie. I bet they would. I bet I could pretend I'm there and they wouldn't even know I'm not living there. And later, a few years later, when I was doing like Spy Kids, mixing it at Skywalker Ranch, George Lucas saw that I was my own mixer. And we started talking, and he said, "It's so smart you're in Austin. That's why I'm in Marin County." Because when you live outside the box, you think outside the box mm. automatically. You're going to innovate stuff just by just getting up in the morning because you're outside of the box. It's very traditional in Hollywood. And sure enough, we were doing down here in Austin, green, the first big green screen movies, the first digital movies, the first digital 3D movie was Spy Kids 3. Right. We're way ahead of the curve, movies like Sin City, because we were outside of the box. We lived far away. So I wasn't saying so much, you guys come to me, it's more like they won't know that I'm down here <laughs> with my own, own lab, thing. doing my own thing, and you're quietly, because if they all saw what I was doing and I was in Hollywood, they'd say, that's not how it's done. And you might start listening to that because it's so prevalent, so around you, the old way. It's not as innovative as you think. It's very reactive. They react when something is a success, they'll go imitate, they're fast to imitate, but they're not fast to innovate. So being outside of that, that's why I like to tell filmmakers, if you come from a town that's not a movie town and you want to make movies, try staying at home like we did and try to build a film community around yourself. It's so rewarding. The ripple effects of your actions and your ideas go out through the community.